nice mix of people. I went for Andy Course to meet here and talk to a real bunch of characters, like, you know? So. Serious atmosphere, especially like Friday night to Saturday night. So it's a serious place to drink before the town. The Bob's in the pubs, it's gotta be. It's unbeatable value. My name's Sam. I've been, uh, I started studying theology and philosophy there in Trinity last year. Um, I work in the pub, have been for a year and nine months or so now. And I'm enjoying life. Yeah. <laughs> I started working here um, the, literally the first week after I started college. You know when the, the start of the year when it's just black with people, everybody's out in the kitchen. There's, Two, three thousand people there, you know. So that was my first sight at the pub, and I instantly, you know, got scared. You know, I had no idea what was going to go on. So I went in and started working, and it was one of the hardest days of work in my life because I was literally just out there cleaning for the whole day, for about six hours, you know. But it was, it was the start of something interesting. You know? <laughs> well, I, I, I get asked at least two or three times a night when I'm working here, are there any jobs going from students? Because it is by far the handiest place to work ever, you know. I've never really heard, you know, a bad word about the pub from them. Like, I suppose I work there, they're hardly going to tell me, you know. But at the same time, you know, we are generally here, you know, once, once, twice a week, you know, we come here a few drinks, you know. So I suppose they like it, they must do. I do enjoy coming in here because not, not only is it like I'm here with friends, I also know, I know all the bar staff, I'm friends with them, I know all the prices of all the drinks, you know. I know that if I'm stuck, they'll do me a like here, we'll give you four bav. And drop it back into us next week, which means that I'll be getting the bath at like half price, getting it when I have no money, you know, it's handy enough. The cricket team, they uh, we rarely see them because we see them over the summer, you know, maybe once a week, and I'm not generally into those. But when they're here, they seem nice enough, you know, grand, they buy their drinks, they get their sandwiches, all that kind of thing, have the crack. The, um, the football team never really had any problems with them, you know, they've, they've always been nice, always paid for their drinks, been quiet enough, had the banter, chatted to us, all this kind of thing. The rugby, it, it can fluctuate, you know, there's a, the, the third string rugby team is possibly some of our best customers, you know, they're really nice guys, always come in here over a week, sit down, drink, all the kind of thing. The first string rugby team, some of them are nice, some of them, you know, you have a great day with them all the time. Yeah. A lot of them, it's almost as if they have like a, an elitist kind of personality. You know, Trinity is the, the oldest official rugby team in the world, all this kind of crap, you know. It's almost as if they're entitled to do whatever they want when they want to, you know. Like, we, we've had nights where we've had to shirt early because they've been standing on chairs and screaming out songs and throwing pint glasses and all this kind of thing, you know. It's just, it's, 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 a, it's a miss, you hit and miss with it. You know? It was one night, I remember, it was a Saturday night. Saturdays are usually quiet, you know. And uh, it was just me and the assistant manager, Gassan, who's he's a bit of a, a crazy guy at the, at the best of times, you know. But the, uh, I think they're called the Corinthians, I can't remember, but it's, it's like, it's a, it's a group, it's the elite of the elite, basically. It's all the, the best people from all the, the sports clubs form this society called the Corinthians. And to be in it, you have to be in the best team of the best person. But well, they all come in, they were always in suits, all this kind of thing again. Then they started singing, fair enough, it's like 10 o'clock, we'll be okay with singing, you know, I don't really mind. And then they started standing, standing on tables and chairs. The system manager got them down, you know, five minutes later, back up again. The system manager got them down. Five minutes later, same thing. So we turned the music off, you know, um, and told them, you know, sit back down, we're going to have to kick you out. So they then decided to roar at the top of their lungs all their songs, all this kind of thing. So we turned the music off, shut the bar, and kicked them out and closed the night. And that was it, you know. It was just those kind of things where you just have to close early. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I'm, I'm really enjoying my course at the moment. And all, all the all the lectures and people I'm with as well, and I, I think the pub has actually hugely helped with that because there's like, my, my, I was working there since my first week, which means the purple people were seeing me working here, you know. So I went into a class, you know, and people were like, "Oh, you work in the pub," you know. So it's 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 gotten me introduced to people who have then become friends. And all that. And it's, it's, it's worth it.